How are we doing? Cormac here. Um, like a lot of people with this poxy virus, I'm out of work at the moment. Uh, a lot of chefs like myself kind of doing videos, cooking tips, that kind of thing uh, at the moment. So I thought I might join them, but do something maybe a little bit different. Try and save you some money and eat some exciting food. So the first one I'm going to do is a pig's head, something that has been on menus not very often anymore but it was a big thing back in the day super cheap I got mine for three euros for a half head in the butcher so much you can do with it once it's cooked the cooking process is more or less the same no matter what you're going to do with it so we're going to start off by just giving it a good old wash and then we're going to simmer it gently for about three and a half hours and then I'm going to show you the next step after that so here we go right there she is there now cleaned off Lots of meat on her, like I said. This was a big thing years ago in Ireland. People used to eat these all the time, but it's kind of something that's died out. Um, but like I said, she's going to basically make a silk purse from a sow's ear. The ear itself, I'm actually going to try and do something else with. So I'm not going to cook that on the head itself. I'm going to take that off there now in a second. So more or less just whip her off. Then I'm going to stick her into this big pot. So you're going to need a big pot. You're gonna need your obviously your pig's head, knife, chopping board if you want to do this. You don't have to do this, you can just leave this on and cook it, it'll be fine. Um, if there's any hairs still on it, simple enough, just use it. a razor, take away the hairs, throw it away afterwards. This one's pretty good. Um, it's kind of singed off already. So the butcher looked after that. Happy days. So off of here, very straightforward. There it is, into the pot. Head goes into the pot. Nice and big pot, fitting grand. Snout the whole lot in there. Be fucking afraid of it. And I'm gonna blanch it once with water. That'll take away any of the impurities. Um, so we'll discard the first water. This one is the bacon head, so it's already brined. If you, you don't have a, a bacon head, just a regular pig's head, you could brine this now for about six hours. There she is, or he is, kind of hard to tell, but ready to go. So I'm going to bring that to the simmer, I'm going to discard the liquid, and then I'm going to put fresh water in. Okay, so now we're at a simmer here. When it's looking like that, we're going to change the water. So all of that foamy stuff, we just want to get rid of all that and have a nice clear stock at the end of it as well, okay? I know a lot of people might be a bit squeamish about trying this, um, but you know, like sustainability is more important than ever before. For every pork chop in the shop, you know, there's came from a pig. We need to kind of realize that and we need to use the whole animal, respect the animal. You know, the animal died for this and, you know, these cuts are a great value, they taste great and, you know, even just for the environment we should really be eating more of them. So I hope you do give it a try. So here we are back now again. we got fresh water in here, we cleaned out the pot. A lot of the impurities will be gone now from this and we're going to pop in some of our aromatic stuff. So we've got uh, an onion, straight in, carrot, celery, and then we've got some garlic cloves, thyme, tarragon, sage, bay leaves, peppercorns, um, whatever you really have. You don't have to put these all of these in or whatever, but whatever you have, you can uh, put them in there. Don't go shopping, stay isolated. Whatever you have in there, dry store, fire it in there. That's grand like that now. And we're gonna bring that back to a simmer and it's gonna take about three, three and a half hours. We're gonna check it after three hours and See what it looks then. My uh, head is simmered away gently there now for about three and a half hours. It's nicely cooked. I gave it a check, nice falling apart. I left it cool in the stock so it doesn't dry out. If you take it out straight away when it's hot, all the steam comes off, the whole thing dries out, and it's just not a good So now we're going to take her out properly. And we're going to pull the 
ear out now as well. We're not going to be in there. This is the part where it's handy to have gloves. Everyone has gloves at the moment, I think. So just throw on a pair of rubber gloves like this, and we will get to work. through this and just seasoning it and just using it like a pate pretty much on bread or whatever but I'm gonna make a roll out of it and then I'm gonna put breadcrumbs on it and fry it so it looks pretty nice okay so that's what we're left with now lots of nice meat there plenty of fat and skin as well that really makes a difference you get that texture and flavor from that as well um, and then we're just going to season it up, so you need to give it a bit of a taste. It might be salty enough already. I'm going to add some black pepper. I'm going to add some what parsley would be traditional, but I don't have any and I'm not going outside. So I have a bit of tarragon, I have some celery leaves, finely chopped, some spring onion and a little bit of uh, mixed spice. My one is uh, salty enough, I think, so I'm just going to leave it at that. What I've got now is I have like three layers of cling film underneath this and I have it all spread out there. It's quite a lot in the end. Uh, I'm gonna roll it into like a thick cylinder, tightly wrap it. I'm gonna set it in the fridge to chill. And then I can use it like a terrine and just have it cold with like bread and some pickles and salad. Or I can uh, breadcrumb it and cook it and have it hot, which is probably what I'm gonna do. But uh, that's what you should be looking at right now. All right, so it looks like that now. Nice and tight all the way along, not too big. And we're going to set it like that now on a tray in the fridge overnight. So now it's looking like this. Um, you could just cut a slice of it like this now and just have it with bread or whatever. But I'm going to take it a step further and I'm going to uh, dust them with seasoned flour. And then I'm going to put them in uh, egg, deep them with a little bit of milk and into breadcrumbs. And I'm going to deep fry them and I'm going to bake them. Now, just out from the oven there now is my crispy ears. Super good, and the nicest thing to have with this would be kind of a really fresh zingy salad, you know, spiriac, apple, fennel, finely shaved, maybe a little bit of mayonnaise behind that, maybe a bit of a chutney. 
I don't have any of that stuff. I'm just going to have a mash and veg. I'm not going out shopping. I'm staying indoors. But um, if you really don't want to use a pig's head, you could use a ham hock. Um, but, you know, pig's heads have to be used and they should be used. So hopefully you give it a try.